Good morning, Quinonia Church. My name is Candice, and I have some updates on some of the awesome things happening here at Quinonia. Um, first of all, welcome. So glad that you're all made it, whether you're watching online or in the house. It's so good to be together worshiping the Lord, finding out more about what He has for your life, and I hope that you enjoy this service. If you're new, maybe you've never really made a connection before, you've just shown up or somebody invited you, we wanna make sure that you get a chance to be connected. The first way to do that is by filling out the connection card that's found in the seat back in front of you, or if you're watching online and prefer text, you can text welcome to the number on the screen. And then if you present that text or that card to guest services today or in the next coming weeks, we have a present for you just to welcome you into our church family. Um, we're so, so glad that you're here. So now I'd like to invite our ushers to come down to receive our tithes and offerings. Tithes and offerings are one of the ways that we stay um, helping this church, this body of believers, continue to push forward the mission of God that He has for us for Kings County. So you guys, I'm a parent of two kids and it's one of the hardest, most challenging tasks that I believe that the Lord has given me. And so to help parents who are in my boat who feel like, man, this is so important, but so difficult. I don't always know what's coming. I don't know how to anticipate what's next. We have a parent workshop for you taught by our own Sylvia and Stacy Gaston. They're going to be teaching us tips and ways that the Lord is guiding us to lead our children in the ways of the Lord. So if you're a parent, doesn't matter of what, of, of what age your kids are, this parent workshop is for you. So mark your calendars, it's free, just show up. If you're a Christian and you are following after Jesus and you haven't been baptized, being baptized is your next step. Jesus called all of us to come to Him, to get saved, and then to be baptized. So on August 7th, here at church, we're gonna be having baptism classes to teach you a little bit more about what that means and what our process is. And then on the following Sunday, you get to be baptized in front of your entire church family. It's an incredible time to recognize what God is doing in your life and to share the testimony of how good God is. And so if you're interested or you have more questions, you can reach out to us or just attend those baptism classes that are happening during service after each time of worship. So let me tell you about KSM, Koinonia School of Ministry. It's an 18 week or 18 month course where you go through three different semesters with a cohort of students learning more about scripture, doctrine, theology, and leadership. It's an incredible opportunity to deepen your understanding of the word, to deepen your understanding on how to study for yourself. Um, I think it's amazing. I'm totally sold out for what KSM is doing within our church family. Um, I'm one of the instructors, so is Andrew and Roger and Chad. Um, but check out this testimony from one of, I think, one of our best students. I'm Hi, my name is Mike Cortez, and I was part of the first co cohort for Cornelia School of Ministry. Uh, so if you're thinking about joining KSM, I would encourage you, encourage you to not think that uh, this is something that's not for you. This is something that is too intellectual for you. Um, something you're not going to be a pastor, so it doesn't apply to you. This applies to all of us. Um, as Christians, we should know what the Bible says and why it says that and what God is trying to tell us uh, through the Bible. So that's all I have for you guys today, but I know the blessings are still to come for this Sunday because you are about to be joined by Pastor Tim. Pastor Tim is in the house to give the word today. Um, if you don't know who he is, he was our former lead pastor. We call him PT for Pastor Tim. Now that he's retired, he likes us to call him JT for just him, but that always makes me think of Justin Timberlake, so I don't do that. <laughs> but let's give a warm welcome, a loud welcome to Pastor Tim.